Defense Intelligence of Ukraine has reported that a Russian Army Mi-24 attack helicopter has been destroyed by fire in Moscow Oblast. A Russian Mi-24 attack helicopter was destroyed on the night of 9 to 10 November 2024 at the Klin-5 airfield in Moscow Oblast, Defense Intelligence of Ukraine said. It is reported that the burnt helicopter belonged to the 92nd Special Purpose Instructor and Research Helicopter Squadron of the 344th Center for Combat Use and Retraining of Flight Personnel of the Russian Armed Forces. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reiterates that the occupier will be punished fairly for every war crime committed against Ukraine, the statement said. The video release included a message from the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, for every war crime committed against Ukraine, the occupier will face just punishment. The Mi-24 helicopter, valued at approximately $12.5 million according to open-source estimates, is a unique model, combining the roles of an armored gunship and a troop carrier, with the capacity to transport up to eight passengers. Developed by Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant, it has served since 1972 and remains in use in 58 countries today. Known for its high speed, the Mi-24's wings contribute significant lift, enabling faster speeds than other helicopters of its class. A modified Mi-24B variant, named the A-10, was also used in speed and time to climb record. Russian Marines together with the North Korean military launched an offensive in the Kursk region but they suffered losses. According to Forbes, Russian Marines apparently backed by North Korean reinforcements threw themselves at Ukrainian positions in Kursk Oblast in western Russia. The agency writes, according to the article Russia's 810th Marine Brigade with North Korean reinforcements that arrived at the front last month was not the only Russian unit to counterattack the Kursk salient, but it may have been the most unsuccessful. As Forbes explains, one of Trump's proposals is for Ukraine and Russia to agree to a ceasefire along the current front line, which includes not only southern and eastern Ukraine, but also Russia's Kursk region. If Trump's plan actually works, and it's a big if, Russia would effectively give up 270 square miles of Russian land in exchange for about 20% of Ukraine. That's 45,000 square miles it would occupy. Forbes writes, noting that Russian dictator Putin would clearly not be happy with this seemingly favorable exchange. As Forbes notes, the Russian 810th Marine Brigade, with North Korean soldiers attached to it, suffered a crushing failure in its attempt to attack the left flank of the Kursk salient. According to the Ukrainian Marine Aerial Reconnaissance Officer Kriegsforscher, cited by Forbes, the 810th Marine Brigade recently received a shipment of 40 BTR H2 wheeled armored personnel carriers to compensate for some of the losses it suffered during its attempts and failures to drive the Ukrainian army out of the Kursk region. Thus, at least 14 BTRs fired at the left flank of the Kursk salient. Ten of them are destroyed or damaged and abandoned, Kriegsforscher says. Analyzing the Russian losses during the offensive, the agency writes that up to 10 soldiers can squeeze into 17-ton vehicles, meaning that the 810th Naval Infantry Brigade could have lost 140 troops in total, although it's likely at least a few escaped their burning BTRs. In turn, Kriegsforscher did not rule out further Russian offensives in the Kursk region. As I said before, the left flank and the center will be the hardest places in Kursk Oblast. Kriegsforscher says, the Ukrainian military has been holding a foothold in the Kursk region for several months. In late summer, it was reported that the Ukrainian armed forces controlled 100 settlements and captured nearly 600 Russian soldiers. At the end of October, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported that since the beginning of the Kursk operation, Russia had lost 17,819 soldiers, both wounded and killed. 
another 700 Russians were taken prisoner. Recently, the command of the Airborne Assault Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported that since the beginning of the operation in the Kursk region, Ukrainian paratroopers have inflicted losses on Russia of almost 8,000 soldiers. This is equal to 15 Russian battalions. A recent failed Russian assault northeast of Siversk, near Bilohorivka, prompted outrage from some Russian ultra-nationalist mill bloggers over Russian command failures and the pervasive Russian military culture of exaggerating battlefield successes. Russian Zedwar correspondents are already blaming the Russian Defense Ministry command for this, which allowed major losses during the offensive in the Bilohorivka area. Russian war correspondents claim that the commander of the 123rd Motorized Brigade gave the order to the 1st, 2nd and 3rd Motorized Battalions, as well as the 4th Tank Battalion, to conduct a frontal attack on the Ukrainian Armed Forces positions in the Bilohorivka area. ISW analysts gave a description of those events. The offensive was launched on November the 2nd, when the enemy, without adequate fire support, advanced on the positions of Ukrainian forces. Z-War correspondents emphasized that the offensive itself was not only unsuccessful, but also led to large losses in both personnel and military equipment. Russian war correspondents have once again repeated their criticism that the main thing for the command is to create beautiful reports for the Russian Ministry of Defense, attaching to them false maps with achievements on the battlefield. Field commanders send false reports to the Russian Ministry of Defense in order to secure promotions at the expense of the lives of Russian military personnel. The Russian Ministry of Defense had claimed in late October 2024 that Russian forces had seized Serebryanka just west of Bilohorivka and Russian mill bloggers may have been referring to this claim in their critiques. Bilohorivka is a particular sore spot for the Russian ultranationalist community because Russian forces have impaled themselves on assaults to take the settlement since at least May 2022. The Russian military command most notably launched a catastrophic river crossing to take Bilohorivka in May 2022 that failed resulting in significant Russian armored vehicle losses. ISW recently observed elements of the 5th Motorized Rifle Brigade fighting in the Kurakov direction. A Russian mill blogger claimed that Russian deputy commander of the sniper platoon of the 88th Hispaniola Volunteer Brigade, Pavel Alexandrovich Apalkov, nicknamed Joker, was killed in combat in the Chasiv Yar direction.